vocabulary development is very crucial to effective communication as a speaker it is very important that when i say a as the receiver what you can hear is a not why okay it is important that you can interpret what i have said as a not why more so you will agree with me that your choice of words when bantering or having a chat a casual chat with your friends will be a lot different from when you have a job interview or when you have a media interview with the bbc again vocabulary development helps you communicate using the appropriate choice of words in different situations this is why in today's video i will be sharing with you practical tips for vocabulary expansion and retention especially as the year 2024 approaches so if vocabulary development is a goal you have to help improve your communication your effective communication in 2024 you do not want to miss this video this is one that you want to watch hi everyone my name is adiri sola adiemi also known as diction with dairy on this channel we talk elocution public speaking social etiquette and personal development so please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you're not already without much ado let's get right into it tip number one expose yourself to a wide variety of quality quality materials trust me the quality of the materials that you expose yourself to will determine the quality of words or the kinds of words that you will be exposed to okay you want to expose yourself to different authors different writers different genres this way you will be impacting on your verbal and written communication inadvertently okay remember it's both a variety and quality if you expose yourself to shallow materials again your vocabulary would be one of the mill would be basic would be mm, just there okay and except you're always chatting which is not the case except you're always going to be engaging in casual conversations which again is not the case you need to elevate your vocabulary so the stage is going to change at different points so how then do you communicate so in order to minimize the um as mm, i mean the stutters and fellow words you want to expose yourself to a variety of informative materials tip number two pay attention to context okay you want to pay attention to the context in which a particular word has been used in a material it could be when you're reading a book or when you're consuming an audio or a video online okay so you want to you want to pay attention to the way the speaker or the author has used that particular word i'll give you a practical example so growing up i've shared time and again that i wanted to become a broadcaster and one of the things that helped me was listening or watch listening to and watching experienced professional broadcasters and one of them was was frank Idoho of who wants to be a millionaire he used to present who wants to be a millionaire in nigeria at the time <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, <sighs> economics was actually the right answer. No! You so I remember this time he said, you're welcome back to this riveting episode of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And at the time, trust me, I used to watch the show with my pen and a notebook so i put it down and i i, I remember till today because I, I remember that example till today because i remember the context the situation so if you used to watch who wants to be a millionaire of course i know it airs or it used to air in different parts different parts of the world 
so it was one of those episodes where he had taken a commercial break in between <laughs> in between whilst we're trying to find out whether the contestant had moved on to the next stage or would be going home so it was one of those suspense filled episodes and then when i went to check on the meaning of a river team it was suspense filled okay it was one of those episodes that had you at the edge of your seat it's been a number of years now and i still can remember that example because i could remember the context in which it was used so to avoid any form of miscommunication context is very important in vocabulary development and overall effective communication tip number three keep a vocabulary journal in the previous tip i shared i mentioned that i had a pen and a notepad with which i used to put down new words whenever i came across them again it is the same thing that i'm asking you to do keep a vocabulary journal even up until this moment i have a section on my phone on my notes on my phone that is just for new words new idioms new words that i come across when reading or when watching a material a news feature or because i really love news actually <laughs> a news feature or basically any material at all so you want to keep a journal it could be physical it could be digital okay so that you can go through them from time to time pay attention to the synonyms of these words their antonyms sentence examples and so on and so forth and from time to time review them go over them so that you do not forget tip number four get familiar with common root words prefixes and suffixes okay so root words are words that have an inherent meaning in english okay so when you hear that particular word you can associate it with its meaning and i'll give you examples when you hear aqua aqua has to do with water so you have words like aquamarine aquarium aquatic you already know that anything aqua is associated with water when you hear phone p-h-o-n-e you know it has to do with sounds okay so it could be phonemic phonetic phonology you know it has to do with sounds when you hear psych p-s-y-c-h of course i'm going to put these words on the screen when you hear psych you know it has to do with the mind okay it could be psychology it could be psychiatry yes it is psychiatry not psychiatry it is psychiatry psychiatrist and psychiatric <laughs> let me take that again psychiatry psychiatrist and psychiatric neuropsychiatric hospital neuro for instance has to do with the brain so these are root words that you want to familiarize yourself with okay familiarize yourself with common root words so that the moment you come across any word that maybe begins with any of these root words you can immediately marry the root word and or with its meaning you also want to familiarize yourself with common prefixes and suffixes okay so prefixes are letters a group of letters that you add to the beginning of a word to change its meaning and suffixes are a group of letters that you add to the end of a word to change its meaning for example prefixes like on or this they imply not not they are negative prefixes so you have examples like unhappy unfamiliar disappoint disinterested they are usually the opposite of actual adjectives okay or actual words so the moment you see on you see this you know that again you can marry it with its meaning you have suffixes like ly and l-e-s-s -S. now these suffixes denote a certain manner in which something has been done you have something like friendly friendly okay you have a word like orderly again this implies an orderly manner or that somebody is friendly okay so or that a manner in which somebody has treated you 
is friendly or somebody's disposition is friendly do you understand so when you come across these suffixes you can associate their meaning with the the the, the words you have a suffix like less hopeless fearless okay this implies without without hope without fear again when you familiarize yourself with these common prefixes suffixes and root words you can retain remember we're talking not only vocabulary expansion but retention it makes it easy for you to remember or associate meaning with these words whenever you want to use them or whenever you come across them tip number five practice active listening again this brings me back to the example i gave earlier this is something that i still do okay so you want to listen with intention you want to consume materials with the intention to learn because again you will find what you're looking for i'll say that again you will find what you're looking for trust me i wasn't the only one at home who watched who wants to be a millionaire okay different people were watching from different parts of the world but i used to watch with a pen and a notepad because it, it it was something that interested me so i did not only watch who wants to be a millionaire to because it was it was suspense filled because it was it was very interesting and all i intentionally wanted to not only learn new words i loved the presentation style of the broadcaster so i also wanted i wanted to learn a lot of things okay again be curious look out for new words and when you come across them you write them down remember what we talked about previously journaling so again you'll agree with me that these points are interconnected pay attention to specific use of words of statements of idioms in different situations and different contexts it could be in a conversation with somebody else when you're listening to an audiobook when you're watching or listening to a podcast watching a movie different situations you're walking past you see a billboard you see a strange word you're watching tv or you're watching a video on youtube like this pay attention to these two words intentionally look out for them and take note of them tip number six and this is my final tip you probably can guess practice yes practice is very important as a matter of fact i will say be intentional about practicing all of these words that you have acquired because guess what what you don't use you will lose please put it in the comment section what you don't use you will lose okay so be intentional about practicing and using these new words at work in a meeting in your conversations your conversations with your siblings with your friends in different situations basically that way it is a lot easier to retain what you have learned remember this video is not only about broadening or expanding your vocabulary it is about retention i i remember this day i had just heard a new word i was watching news analysis and i heard this broadcaster say cut off your nose to spice your face i think i must have shared this video before now in one of my videos and i was shocked guess what that same week when i was filming on youtube i came on here to teach you <laughs> but you did not know and guess what i you because i use this word often or because i have even taught other people it is almost impossible for me to forget that idiom okay so find somebody else to teach use these words these idioms in conversations in interactions with other people and that way retention of these new words will be a lot easier so before we round off i have a very simple exercise for you okay so first i want you to tell me the meaning of penny pinching penny pinching so i have an example somewhere in my head and it says his penny pinching approach has made execution of the projects a lot more difficult okay here's penny pinching approach has made execution of the project a lot more difficult i'm sure that even before maybe going to check google or ask google google for the meaning of this 
this particular phrase you can decipher or decode like we said the meaning of this statement so or the meaning of this phrase so please put the meaning of penny pinching in the comment section below i hope that you found this video in fact i'm confident that you found this video very very insightful let me know what stood out for you in the comment section i'd love to hear from you please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to this channel if you're not already leave a comment we have tasks we have literally take home assignments so i'd love to hear from you in the comment section and of course share this video with as many people you know would love to broaden or expand their vocabulary especially as we approach 2024 thank you thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye